Paris will transfer Mirage 2000 fighters to Kiev in January-March 2025. This was announced by French Defense Minister Sebastian Lecornu. The deliveries of Mirage 2000 fighters to Ukraine are planned for the first quarter of 2025. They will be equipped with new air-to-ground weapons and electronic warfare systems, the head of the French Ministry of Defense said. He also noted that Paris continues to carry out training activities for Ukrainian mechanics and pilots. Mirage 2000 is a French fourth-generation multi-role fighter aircraft developed in 1976. From 1984 to 2007, it was the main combat aircraft of the French Air Force. The first fighter models entered service in 1983 and entered combat duty in 1984. Earlier, Defense Minister Rustam Yumarov said Ukraine has an agreement to receive Dessau Mirage 2000 jets. He didn't provide a timeline. According to the minister, Ukraine is in talks to acquire Swedish-made Saab JAS-39 Gripen and the Eurofighter Typhoon fighters. Soon we'll have results to announce, Yumarov said. We worked last year on pilot training, on building all the necessary infrastructure, and this year we will focus on how to scale it up enough to have an advantage over the enemy in the air," the minister said. French President Emmanuel Macron announced on June 6 that an unspecified number of Mirage 2005 fighter jets would be transferred to Ukraine, but did not provide a timeline. The Ukrainian armed forces captured a rare Russian stealth drone S-70 Okotnik, writes Forbes. The publication writes that the drone fell in the area of Chesov Yar, and the Russian Federation has only a few such devices at its disposal, the cost of which is approximately $1.5 billion. Now the drone, or its parts, have fallen into the hands of the Ukrainian armed forces. This is a significant loss for the Russian Aerospace Forces, since there are only a few such drones with a 65-foot wingspan and a jet engine, Forbes analyst David Axe reported. According to him, one of these UAVs or its wreckage is now in the possession of Ukraine and its allies. They will disassemble it down to the last screw and, of course, familiarize themselves with its rich internal contents, said Fighter Bomber, an unofficial telegram channel of the Russian Air Force. The analyst notes that it is unclear what exactly caused the drone to be shot down while it was trying to avoid radar detection. Video from the ground clearly shows a military aircraft firing a missile at the arrow-shaped Okotnik, causing it to crash. The question arises, was it a Ukrainian fighter jet, or perhaps a Russian one? The first version seems more likely, but the second is not excluded either, he points out. If the Okotnik was out of action, the Russians might decide to shoot it down themselves to avoid the risk of it crash landing and falling into the hands of the Ukrainian military in relatively undamaged condition. I really hope it was a loss of control due to something going wrong, or the drone's brain going crazy for its own reasons, not because the drone was intercepted by the enemy," fighter bomber wrote. One of the possible reasons for the downing of the Okotnik could have been intense electronic warfare on the front line. According to experts, the drone probably does not have full autonomy and relies on stable communication with ground operators. Now Ukrainian and allied analysts can confirm this feature by examining the remains of the downed device. It is a major loss for the Russian Air Force, which has already lost more than 100 combat aircraft, including a Su-57 fighter, during the war in Ukraine. It is noted that the first images of the Okotnik appeared in 2019, where it was recorded at an airfield in Novosibirsk, resembling the American B-2 with its flying wing design. The drone is classified as a strike and reconnaissance drone. According to independent Russian military aviation expert Tom Cooper, it is likely that the Okotnik is still in the testing phase and has not yet entered serial production. It may still be a prototype aircraft. 
While it is not uncommon for the Russian Air Force to deploy test aircraft to combat zones to gather real-world data, losing a rare and expensive test aircraft during combat testing is a huge setback for the development effort, he points out. The Russians likely deployed the Okotnik because of a shortage of standard surveillance drones, which they are losing in large numbers on the front lines. According to analyst Andrew Perpetua, a third of Russian surveillance drones are shot down by Ukrainian forces every day. In response to the surveillance gap, the Russians decided to deploy the Okotnik, but it fell victim to the same Ukrainian air defenses that have destroyed many of their other drones.